Hey everyone, how is going? Today we are trying to surpass 2900 in tactics and we will try to make it constructive for you. And I should say that today I had the, my first jab of corona vaccine and my mate don't perform that well. Okay, what should we do? Um, the first thing comes to mind is that Knight takes uh, G3. Knight takes G3, but then... Then what? Then takes back, then I take with the Queen uh, G3. And King goes to F1. King goes to F1. What is the continuation then? Don't see anything immediate. Uh huh. Continuation might be Queen takes H3. Then the only place I think is uh, King F2. After King F2, now we can say uh, check with no, Queen G2, and that's pretty much checkmate. Yes. What if it doesn't take? I don't know. Doesn't take my knight, I don't know, but I play this move. Yes. Yeah, this is one trick that you can uh, always perform because I, it's difficult to calculate all lines. After this, uh, I will show you uh, the analysis and uh, explain what I discuss. Okay, it says check. I should move. This move is very important. This move is very important. Mm. If I go king b8, then says check with the bishop. Uh, and what else I can do? Says check with the bishop. I go to a1, uh, a8, then I lose because queen uh, a5 is a mate. So I have to go back to c8. And this is not a good sign, yes? If we should go back to some place, it's not a good sign. So this is not a move. I have only three possible moves. Another move is uh, king d7. The last move is bishop c6. Okay. Uh... King, uh, bishop c6, I want to rule out bishop c6 because sounds quite unnatural. Bishop c6, if it takes with the rook, I take back with the pawn. Then does he have anything to do? He takes my knight afterwards. I take back with the check and then my attack is gone. He defends the attack and we can count right now. I will have two rooks and a queen. He will have one rook, knight and bishop. That's not bad, that's an achievement. Yes? Okay. So bishop back takes is not a good move for white. Oh no, he has better. No, he has oh, the, the one extra piece actually. It's not good for black. Takes, I take, he takes my knight, I say check, he brings the queen in front, or he just moved the king, and I don't see a good continuation here. So another move is king, no, d7, this sounds scary, yes. It might not be that scary. Let me see. King d7. Then queen takes the, um, d4. Queen takes d4. I move the king. No, I can move the king. I go back with the bishop. Bishop d5. No, and um, what is the next check? Next check is uh, rook c7, for example. And after that, I escape to e8. And there is no more check. I Believe. Oh, there is one more check, but not that useful. Uh, queen nah, a5 check, a4 check. 
but that's not a useful check. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, suppose checks are done. What happens? Suppose uh, we just stop after the first check, like uh, bishop goes to d5 and uh, black wants to play. White wants to play another move, not checking, harassing the king. Okay, suppose it takes my knight. It, it should take my knight, otherwise it's very dangerous. Takes my knight, I take back with check. And mm, I don't see a good continuation here for black. I take back with the check. Uh, at this moment he moves. I save one more check and he moves away. Like to e1 at the end. I have nothing. Do I have anything? No, I don't. Ooh. Very complicated. Now I am again thinking maybe bishop c6 is the best move. Maybe bishop c6 is the best move since since this is a now for this it should give up a rook and uh, immediately stops all the checks. Hmm. Or, yeah, or what? I don't see anything. Let's play it. I think this is the safest move. And I should take it or shouldn't I? No, if I move. No, should take it. There is no other option. Oh, that was it. We are back to 2900. Okay, I just want to analyze something for you. After this move, you may say that, okay, why he didn't take it? Because if he take it, it's like this. Uh, there is, It cannot go here. It should go to this side. And then I have this check. Again, either it should bring the king, uh, queen forward, uh, which is end of a day, or it should move the king. If it moves the king here, it's the, the, the same as what we will see it as f2 because here is checkmate this pawn or uh, d5 is preventing any move okay let's see what happened actually in the game like this this and then this and i take he goes defending i just may say check and what's this okay i have a uh, couple of pawns I am a pistone, yes, and I have a exchange. I'm exchange up, and I have a couple of pawns. Not a very interesting tactics, yes. I mean, yeah, it's winning for black, but not on a spot. Okay, let's go to the next tactic. This was in defense. This tactic we were looking for. So I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about taking the knight with check. Taking the knight with check, he will take it with the king and escapes. What if what if I don't take the knight with check, but instead I just say check and attack the queen? Yes, like mm, the bishop f4 and attacking the queen. Okay, I think that's uh, that should be very easy move, yes, because what's the answer? There is no answer for it. Uh, the only answer I see is like playing uh, knight uh, h3. Knight h3, then I take the queen. Uh, let's count what happens. If we take the queen, we have two bishops and a rook against two bishops and a rook and a knight and another rook so uh, the a rook and knight against the queen we, have, we are up a queen versus um, but down a rook and knight that's a fairly good compensation yes also the another difficulty here is that White is the one who is somehow attacking. 
but it shouldn't be a big deal. I don't see anything bad on this move. Okay, let me take the queen. Is there anything fancy here? I don't see anything fancy. Okay. This is the plan. Okay, he wants to play rook. Uh, rook e1. Uh, a2. And then... And then win my bishop. I should find, find a way to prevent this. Okay. How to prevent that? What is my response to rook a7? Rook a7. Rook a7. What? Why I cannot find it? Why I cannot find a good move? It should be very easy at this point. We did two moves so far. Okay. Rook a7 is immediate mate tra tra right? Because even if it, I take the rook with the queen. Then takes my bishop and says checkmate. So it's very immediate attack uh, and danger. B big, big danger. I cannot move my f pawn or something fancy like that. I don't have time for that. I cannot take the knight. Yes, if I take the knight with the check, it's just one check and then there is no follow up. I. I should be doing something that is preventing this rook coming in I don't see anything I thought about uh, queen b7 to attack the rook but it doesn't solve my issue yes because I attack the rook but uh, he is still around what else what is the weakness of my opponent at this point another option i see is to sacrifice the rook and then push the h pawn but no it doesn't work even if i push the h pawn forward <laughs> he again uh, plays rook a2 if i mm, take the rook is i'm done if I don't, then he takes my queen. If I move the queen, he takes the, my bishop and then miss me at h8 with rook. So this is not an option. Taking the knight is eliminating the first option. How can I blockade the rook from coming in? How can I blockade it? really don't see maybe queen goes to d8 right queen d8 no i should kick his bishop queen d8 immediately then if he plays rook a2 no, he doesn't play rook a2, he plays bishop b6. Hmm. Maybe first playing c5 and then queen d8, c5. He plays, uh, he plays rook in. If he plays rook in, I play now queen d8 and I'm happy. Yes, let's do c5. Okay, the only place I can go is d8. No, I, no, I think I cannot save my rook. So I should take the knight. We check. Oh, oof. Such a dangerous puzzle. Uh, let me show you what was the complication here. Uh, we took the queen. That was the easy part, 1200 puzzle. 
then this was very crucial because like if i was doing something like mm, uh, anything okay he was coming here i was escaping and then he had all the fun at this point i had not, not much move to do or uh, like uh, not that crazy move let's say i was doing something more sensible like this okay a sail uh, this rook comes in and i should pin my queen here as you can see the bishop wants to move and come uh, to c7 it says that play is such a move but yeah or uh, it says that double the rooks in the back rank yeah and it was very difficult position for me but kicking away this bishop says that if you even if you play this i can go back and know your bishop cannot uh, really support anything because uh, first of all uh, f6 is um, blocked also you cannot come in from the b um, b6 or uh, c5 anywhere else and slowly but surely black progresses Okay, we progress very slowly. Let me go to the next one. I'm thinking about taking his knight with the rook. And if he takes with the queen, I take his rook. If he moves his king, then again is dramatic. But let's us count. I take his knight to the rook. Uh... If it takes with the queen, I take the rook. And what we have? We have a rook, two knights versus knight, bishop and a rook. We have a couple of pawns more. And yeah, that's all. Right? That's all. But it is sufficient. Any other option? If he moves the king, if he moves the king, then it's game over, I think. Another option is to first say check with the knight. And then take the knight. Okay, let me see, if, uh, let me evaluate this option. I first say check with the knight. If he goes to uh, c3, then I don't have anything fancy here, yes? Mm, like I should move my queen away and, mm, and I cannot take the knight anymore. And I don't have any mm, interesting check except taking the knight and giving up rook and queen for a queen and knight. So let's not get fancy so soon. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid a little bit because this is the first move comes in mind. Hmm. I can first say check here with the knight. Right? Once the queen moves, king moves, I take the rook. The reason I want to say check first is that I uh, I don't want to allow him to destroy my pawn structure, for example. If I take the rook right away, he takes my knight with the bishop. And my pawn structure is not that interesting anymore. Right? And if I say check with the knight, he cannot take it with the queen, for example, or something like that. Because uh, now queen is pinned to my queen. Okay, so if I want to say check first, where should I say check? I go in. And I say check. I would like to block his queen pass. So I would say check from here. No, I think it's safe to take his rook. There is no danger. Yes, it worked. But we 
as you can see we progress very slowly okay let me analyze this uh, quickly after the first move we played knight there but uh, if we were going to take this uh, rook this was very bad as you can see because it destroys my pony structure uh, i mean uh, engine even suggests to give up a queen and do you see because if i take something like that then uh, Rukan comes in and deliver checkmate. Okay. <clears throat> deliver checkmate in few moves. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next puzzle. Mm, we progress very little in every puzzle and Mm, if we make a mistake we will lose a lot of points okay in this move in this puzzle we have queen b2 takes the poison pawn and we should punish it how to i'm thinking about knight c4 is the first natural move attacking the queen where does the queen go? The queen doesn't have many places to go, right? I mean, uh, only b4 and b5. b5 is wrong immediately because I can say knight d3, uh, d6 check. And uh, this is a discovery attack because after he takes my knight with the bishop, I take his queen with my b uh, f bishop. So the only place is uh, b4, right? And this is a forced move. So if it is a force move, you are safe to do it. Okay. Now I'm thinking that we have two options. First, playing bishop d2, attacking queen directly. This doesn't seem to be good because queen has a place like a4. Right? Queen can escape to a4 and stay there for a while. But if we first play c3, Queen cannot escape to a4 because then our queen is on a4. So let's first play c3. After he takes, no, we can play our bishop d2. And after he takes, we can take his queen. Yes, that's easy. Uh, I don't think there is anything special to talk about it. Uh, this was the only force move, right? This is a dirty trick. You don't need to calculate when you solve tactics. You don't need to calculate to the end. I didn't calculate anything, but I said that, okay, this is the only forced move. But in the game, you need to calculate to the end or up to some level. But uh, oh, such a forced move never harms. But of course, you may lose some, miss some tactics, but it's not negative. And after he moves there, uh, one first option was this, but this is very bad because the queen can escape. And it doesn't matter how you want to harass it, it, it will escape. Okay, I don't continue this line. This was the reason that first I played c3 because uh, uh, see how many squares it has. It has two squares, uh, c3 and a4. Every other place is uh, like, uh, for example, this is uh, forbidden, right? Because if it goes there, we say check and then take the queen up. So it has only two squares, c3, a4. If I play c3, he can go to c3, but he cannot go to a4. And in the next move, I will block the c3 as well. And this is the only square he has, and we blocked it. Yes, okay. Let's go to the next one. Queen there. I'm thinking about queen f2. Queen f2, king goes up. Queen f2. What kind? What, what can I do? Actually, I don't see... Isn't this immediately killing move? Queen f2. There are two possibilities. The king should move. There is no other option. Yes, king 
uh, H2 or H1. It doesn't matter which way it goes. We can take the rook, but um, if it goes to H2, first we say, I think first we say check and then take the rook. If it goes to, if, if the reason that we first say check is that to kick back his knight. Okay, let's suppose we take the rook and the pawn. How is this, the situation? We are up an exchange and couple of pawns. So let's do the first force move. Okay, no, I think I should say check because if I directly take the rook, he has some dangerous attacks. For example, he can take my knight with the rook, right? Takes my knight and I don't have any check at this moment. And if I take back the knight, uh, the I take his rook, then he has some attack like uh, queen takes um, queen takes the pawn. We check. I move the king, and then again queen says check. I don't think this is interesting for me. You may say, what's the difference? Why? Why I think this is dangerous? And if I say check, and then take it, it's not dangerous. If I say check, then there are two options. Either it goes down, like to h1, or it brings back the knight. If it brings back the knight, if it goes on, I take the rook with the check, and I am happy. If it brings back the knight, okay? If it brings back the knight, then I'm not, uh, I'm again happy because uh, it doesn't have some nasty moves like uh, knight take a6 or something like that. I think a6 is very, is very uh, frightening move, yes, for us. So let's just first say check. Or, oh, if I say check. The other problem I see right now is that rook h3, what is my response to rook h3? So let's reevaluate everything. I don't have a good response for rook h3, yes? Because I say check, he plays rook h3, and I can give up at this moment. I, even if I take his rook, it doesn't help anymore, because, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, it's very dangerous. What if I do crazy stuff? I take the knight, uh, I, with knight, I take the bishop. Or, with knight, I take the bishop. If he takes it with the, the rook or queen, we are happy, I think, because we can say our next check. Uh -huh. Hmm, I don't see any good move. Let's recalculate what happens if we take the rook. If we take the rook, he takes the knight. If we take the uh, rook with the rook, he says check with the queen. If he doesn't say check, I think it is done. We are done. He says check with the queen by taking e6 pawn. We play rook. Uh, we play king uh, g7. I think it's the only sane move. And what is the response to this? Okay, uh, maybe it's not the only sane move. Okay, the what is the response to this? G7. He plays the uh, queen e7. Check. Queen e7 check, and if we go back, he's happy to repeat. Oh, very difficult, very difficult. Don't know how to come up with a solution. Another option I'm thinking about is to play knight f3 check. Knight f3 check, if it takes... If he takes the knight with the knight, I can go and say check with the queen and then take my, with the rook. 
and once he takes my rook as well i take with the queen with check he goes back and then i take his rook at this moment i take the other rook but it's not a good move it's not a good move crazy come on man find the solution what if we just take the rook we take the rook he takes the knight He takes the knight. What can I do here? We take the bishop. He takes our queen. We take his rook. No. Oh, I take the rook. He takes knight. Attacking my rook. If I was able to say check with the knight and get rid of this uh, useless knight, my knight is somehow very useful and somehow very useless. Oh, first I kick the queen away. What about this plan? Rook f5. Queen goes away or it doesn't? It doesn't necessarily. All right. Let's have, uh, do our uh, check. I think our check is forced. Uh, I don't see any solution. Oh, this was a mistake. Okay, let's see what was the solution. Okay, we take this. Um, why, why it doesn't take this one? We take this. We just, uh, it says check. I go here. It says check. I go there. And then I saw up to here. Uh, this is good. Okay, this is very difficult. Because, yeah, I saw this. I saw this and I said that at this point, when my king goes to h6, it's not possible to, it's not possible to do anything fancy. And uh, it's a, for me, that's, uh, I was thinking his attack is too strong and he can uh, have a perpetual check. I didn't calculate from this point. And uh, this was a very difficult puzzle for me, actually, because it has many side variations, like either take the rook or first say check and then take the rook. Everything was possible. Okay, now we managed to pass 2900, but we didn't manage to get 100% success. See you next time, guys.